Damn, damn, damn. Peace and blessing, everyone. Well, it didn't take long, but I've been tagged. Um, and it just seemed like well, it's been probably three days since the videos first started popping up of people being tagged. And so I have been hit. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Blue. So, of course, I got to answer. I got to give five inter interesting facts or things about myself. And then I guess pick five more people to tag next. And being that I've told so much my videos I mean I've told a lot of things if you go through my videos I've touched on a lot of things um, I had to take some time and, and think about it and I think I got a nice eclectic group let's say eclectic group eclectic group here let's see number one left hand my left hand I have a what I like to call a special hand, my special hand, my healing hand. Right, this left hand is and has always been this way. It only rotates to that point. Right, so what's that? A ninety degree angle. It's always been that way. And I like to say it's because I'm always holding the hand of God. Right, so that's one my healing hand. Uh, two. <laughs> two is freak. I'm a freak. And of course you're saying, well, yeah, we know that. I mean, look at you. Look how you dress. But no. I mean, sexually a freak. I'm nasty. And I mean that good way. Not two girls, one cup nasty. But in a good way nasty. Uh, just always been, you know. Just always been. And I'm thinking, boy, if I got a hold of Beyonce, mm, mm, mm. you know. And the funny thing is, thing is, if I had one chance to be with Beyonce, I wouldn't want to be with her right now. I would want to wait until she was at least 35, because you know, by the time. Especially in her case, you know, she's not going to be that much, you know, sexually mature, you know, because she's not going to be that experienced. I'm sure she's probably getting all experience with Jigga. Uh, but as it's around that time, you know, that women start really hitting a sexual peak and they've been around a block, if you will, a few times. And so they know how to please a man. And being that I'm going to do my all to please a woman. You know, it's good to get that back in return. You know, and for all you you youngsters, no matter how when I say youngsters, this could be for anybody, any male who is sexually immature, let me give you a tip. You have to please the woman first. Let her get hers. Put in the work for her to get hers. Cause we know we can get ours any second. So Take care of her first. All right, do that. Um, number three, drugs. Back in high school, I was a drug dealer for a while. Uh, it was me and uh, my two boys, my two best friends in high school. Um, and I said, it was a unique little little group little click if you will. You had me who was uh, from middle class, a two-parent home, um, my father and my stepmother. Father was a social worker, my stepmother uh, was a teacher. She just retired a couple years ago, was a teacher. Um, had a couple sisters at home. Uh, my boy Brad, Bredrick was from the, the projects, a uh, single mother home. Actually, his grandmother stayed with him too. He had a sister and brothers, and then uh, my boy Marcus, who came from a a single mother, single family home, mother home too. But uh, I'm not sure. They might have been middle class. He, he lived in a house, so they had a house. Him, his mother, and his sister. So we had a, a unique mix there. But yeah, you know, and it's more so 
uh, for the purpose of flipping money, meaning trying to make a profit on money invested. So basically, I was working. I had a, had a job working at a movie theater. A movie theater which costs 85 cents to get into. Movie theater. And so basically, it's you know, taking money, getting a deal, you know, on uh, some rock. Somebody hook us up and taking that and cutting it, you know, or hustling it in a way to double or triple the money invested. So that was that. Um, molestation. I was sexually molested in third grade by a male babysitter. Only had on one time. It was the first. It was dang. I think about it. It was the first time. Um, I don't know my mother. I think he was maybe a nephew of one of my mother's friends. This is when I, I lived in Inglewood. Lived in Inglewood. Lived on uh, West Manchester, right down the street from the Forum. You saw what the Forum is. It's the old stadium that the Lakers used to play in before they moved to Staples. So I used to walk through the the Forum or the parking lot of the parking lot to school, going to Kelso Elementary when I was young. Like I said, um, sexually molested by him. And he started, he made his move while we was watching Incredible Hulk. Best show, Incredible Hulk. And I was actually, I was actually thinking about him maybe a couple of weeks ago. Um, just wondering how he is, where he is, you know, what's going on in his life and just how he how he turned out and what happened in his life. I don't know, somehow my my mother figured out that something was wrong the next day and then ended up telling her. And before you know it, um, you know, I'm in a house and my mother told me to come over to the you know front door, the front window and the the guys out here and he I'm not sure how old he is. He might have been an older teenager or something. I can't remember. But um he was out there and this this grown male was out there. And I remember is the 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 brother he had a I wanna say looking back maybe it's a PVC pipe, I don't know, some pipe in his hand and he had, you know, the dude right here and he was always already breathing from his mouth. He's like, This is him, right? It's like, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I wonder what, what happened to him that day and how he turned out. You know, I hope you know, I hope he turned out all right, you know. Not Hope he's all right. Hope his life is all right. Um, oh, and last, my fifth one. Let's show you some of my family. This right here is my stepmother, Jan, who we'll I call Mommy Jan. And uh, that's one of my sisters, that's Shay. As you can see, Jan is white. She is, I guess, my ex stepmother, because her and my father are divorced now. They divorced a long time ago, but you know, she's still, still love her. She's still a special person in my life. Still, mommy Jan, all right? And this is my uh, brother and sisters, this is Mickey and Trish. Which, of course, these were uh, Jan's kids. So, our white family, all right. And I think that's it. That covers it. And I guess the person, the people, persons, the people I'm going to hit up now will be Lord Sard Sardonic, Mexican, Brother Hanif, Tanya TKO, and two of my my most trustworthy subscribers who's all, all who've been there. I guess they probably from the some of the uh, first ones to subscribe to me and have. Usually the ones who always comment, Gerald Kid and Lung Yao One. Right. God bless everybody. Peace and love.